peoples. Thank you for joining me one more time. Are you ready to laugh? Because I sure as hell am ready to laugh. Let's do it. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back with you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today, we're going to uh, get into a little bit more Tommy Tiernan today. All right. Well, um... Since the first clip I got to from this guy, man, I've, uh, I've liked him a lot, man. He's very funny, man. Um, obviously, he's from Ireland, and uh, I love accents, man. I love how they make jokes sound funnier, and even with the subject matter being different from what goes on here in America also makes me very much intrigued by it. So, yeah, we're going to get into another one from him today, and uh, this one's going to be titled, How Ireland Dealt with Lunatics. Hmm. Well, uh... <laughs> I'm definitely uh, eager to hear what he has to say about this, man, because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know how America handles its lunatics. Ugh, we don't help them. We just lock them up in a dark hole somewhere. Ugh, sad as hell. But uh, yeah, man, let's see what he's going to be talking about with this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, Tommy Tiernan with uh, How Ireland Dealt with Lunatics. And if you like this reaction, please boom on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Don't want any of that. It's a peaceful, happy channel, you understand me? So, uh, yeah, man, just uh, fresh into uh, getting this whole thing going. Back at it for the first time in a while this weekend. I'm uh, very happy. And, uh, yeah, let's continue with the happiness. Let's go ahead and do it. Tommy Tiernan with How Ireland Dealt with Lunatics right here on Eddie BTV. Back with more laughs. Let's have fun with it. Okay. Let's get down with this one here. Here we go. Hello there. Hello there. I am from Ireland. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shout out to we Ireland. We are a country full of lunatics. <laughs> there isn't a person in Ireland who's more than a first cousin away from genuine psychiatric illness. <laughs> okay. And I love it. There's a man who lives near me who has the dental equivalent of a comb over. What? He has no teeth, no teeth on this side of his mouth. And the teeth on this side are trying to cover it up. <laughs> what the hell? There. A comb over. There was a set of identical <laughs> twin sisters who worked in a shop in the town and one of them passed away. And about a week later, my friend went in and said to the girl, was it you or your sister that died? <laughs> now, Come on, you can't be locking people like this up. They need to be let free to roam around the countryside. Oh. In Ireland, before we had psychiatric hospitals, all we had were open spaces. Okay. If okay. you were mad, people just told you to fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. I got no time for yeah. you. <laughs> you spend the day running around a big field. You come back into town around six o'clock for a sandwich with the crusts cut off, cause you're mental. Oh. Never give a lunatic the heel of a loaf of bread. He'll take the eyes out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> and then back into the oh. field to sleep in a tree with some sheep. Bruh. I don't like sheep. I don't like them. They're too fucking vague. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe a little. They're yeah. all blurry around the edges. Where does the sheep even begin? Uh. The biggest fright I ever got in my life was from a sheep. And when I say sheep, you don't even know how many I'm talking about. That's how vague they are. There could have been one or thousands. <laughs> That's true. That's one. True. I was up a mountain. 
in the wilderness. And I felt as if the wildness inside me was being mirrored by the wildness outside of me. And I felt at peace. So I let a few roars out of me. <laughs> oh, I opened up all my chakras. <laughs> my Muladaka chakra was flapping in the wind. Those asshole of a fucking sheep standing behind me. <laughs> I didn't see him, but he waited till I was at my most vulnerable. And he went, meh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caught a slip. I didn't run. <laughs> I just wasn't there anymore. Okay. Poof. Disappeared. There huh? are things that help, and there are things that don't help. You can't have pretty women reading the news, it's too distracting. How are you supposed to weep? for Egypt if she's gorgeous with big false eyelashes. <laughs> we know this in Ireland. We have a rough looking woman reading the news. Uh oh, okay. okay. She's got a black eye and three missing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> she just stares down the camera. You think you have it bad? Wait till you see this fella. Roll the tape. <laughs> Look. I like her. Look at him. <laughs> He's only got one leg and they're still shooting at him, look! Ah. Now for the weather, it'll be pissing rain all week! <laughs> I believe... I love this dude, man. I want the newscaster like he, want, like he just described. Alcohol helps! You need a drink! Irish people do! When things are getting serious, it's when you need a drink the most. It's why we put St. Patrick's Day in the middle of Lent. <laughs> that, that, That's perfect. That That's wasn't great. a fluke. That's pure Celtic genius. Okay. We knew there was no way we were going to go 40 days <laughs> and 40 nights on pancakes. Oh, man. We'd need a half time during Ramadan, so we would. <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day, Jesus himself comes out of the desert, Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> is there any chance of a pint, is there? <laughs> the uh. devil is driving me demented. <laughs> it's question after question. He is relentless, so he is. Pint of Guinness, please, Seamus, thanks. What's that? I'd love to judge the parade. <laughs> oh. I get to stay in some oh. fancy hotels when I'm at home in Ireland. And the people who run these hotels, they think they're doing me a favour, but they're not. They're just making me feel even worse. Oh. The amount of nights I spent on my own in the bridal suite. Why? <laughs> Surrounded by chocolates and flowers for two. Pulling myself asunder. <laughs> asunder. <laughs> when tears meet semen, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Oh, I imagine no, it not. Isn't. No. It's disgusting. <laughs> Just below my chest, it's carnage. <laughs> I can hear the little never children of the future calling out. <laughs> oh, that's that's foul. <laughs> I uh, have a uh oh few mental health issues. Oh, okay, okay. I was diagnosed recently with a thing that wasn't an accurate diagnosis, but they. It served its purpose for a short time. Borderline personality disorder. Mm. Borderline. It doesn't mean that I almost have a personality. Okay. It means, according to a book, 
They think that I walk a thin line, a borderline, <laughs> like a mental health refugee <laughs> between psychosis and neurosis. I'm either psychotic or neurotic. Wow. Neurotic, bad for me. Psychotic, bad for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Basically. Yeah. I'm not good on my own or <laughs> with people. Oh. I went to see this old European psychiatrist who lives in the town where I grew up. And he said to me, come in, come in, come in. Because he learned English from the Count on Sesame Street. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Oh, man. And I said, it's me head. Do you know sometimes when you're at home and you're watching a movie and you've got a box of Pringles on your lap and there comes a stage of the evening where you have so many Pringles in your mouth you can't hear the fucking television. <laughs> okay. I can see that, yeah. I can well, see that. C'est moi. <laughs> he said to me, okay, okay, okay. I think you're very angry, man. We have to find a way of letting anger out in safe place. I want you to bark. Bark like a dog. And I was there, woof, woof. And he fucking hit me, bad dog. Oh. Bad dog, Tommy Dearman, bad dog. Oh, hell no. And I don't know what came over me, but I turned into a big, bad dog. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I got so far into character, I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I pissed on his newspapers. <laughs> God yes. bless you, Montreal. Thank you oh, very much. Oh, man. That's good. Oh, man, this dude is nuts. All right. Oh, okay, that's the end of that one. All right. Woo! Well, he definitely does have a lot of energy up there. Borderline personality disorder. I think I might be suffering from that as well, man. Whew, time will tell. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was Tommy Tiernan with uh, How Ireland Dealt with Lunatics. Well, uh, <laughs> what to say? Man, this was a pretty long clip, you know. He said a lot of different things. Uh, well... I think that um, the difference between America's lunatics and Ireland's lunatics is that um, they seem to really just be a lot more entertained and amused and seem to take care of them a little bit more as opposed to here. It's like right here in America, we just get scared like real quick. Like, okay, stupidity, must be psycho, must be crazy, something like that. Lock them up, throw away a damn key. Uh, <laughs> but the things he talked about, yeah, that'd be crazy. He said the comb over... Uh, the, the the equivalent of a comb over. Like if I would have seen that, I would have I wouldn't know what to think. You know, I would just start just just trying not to you know lose my mind instantly and try not to say something. But then yeah, you know the uh, the little kid in me would just be like, why you look like that? <laughs> and then I would just start laughing. But um yeah, if someone just went up to um, a twin uh, girl who's twin sister died and said something like that I don't even know exactly how the other twin couldn't start just laughing you know what I mean just out of pity for the guy you know what I mean but you know in here the, the, the other twin in America would just start crying and calling him an insensitive ass in other countries it would probably just be amusement but hey that's the difference far here and far there well you know sometimes I'd rather be far over there because I'm a lot more amused by crazy things that go down I don't get offended very quickly Unless there's like um, stupidity that comes from people who aren't supposed to be stupid. You know, if that makes any sense at all. But um, other than that, man, you know what? I don't have an issue with sheep. You know what I mean? I haven't really been around too many sheep. You know, I've seen movies with uh, sheep in them. I think, uh, I think my favorite movie that had sheep in them. Jeez, that's a tough one. I think it might have to be the movie Babe. You know, about the pig. You know, and uh, it was just like one of my all-time favorite movies, you know, because uh, when I was a kid, it came out and I was just kind of into it, brought out the emotional side in me, you know, especially when uh, 
uh, the, the older lady sheep got killed by the little dogs or whatever. Man, that broke my heart, man. But uh, you don't like sheep too much because one scared the hell out of him. So, hey, man, we all got our complexes somewhere and he has his. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But <clears throat> when he said that you can't have pretty women reading the news, that I actually get behind because even I'm, I'm going to say this, man. It's probably the perverted male in me. I don't care. But if I'm watching the news and I just found a horrific tragedy just happened and some fine ass woman, you know what I mean? Sexy as hell. Big old. Oh, my goodness. Hanging out. I'd be like, oh, you're so sad for the. Ooh goodness oh but all those people <laughs> i wouldn't be able to focus man it would drive me nuts yeah i know man that's probably that probably makes me a shit person man but hey i accept that okay i'll accept that title and i'll just move on from there but uh <laughs> geez. you know what i think i do have a few mental issues you know that nothing diagnosed you know like um in my own head and i'm not a hypochondriac either some people would probably disagree but some things that i think i might have i think i might have a borderline personality disorder you know i don't know if there's a different kinds or that just that one but i do think i have ocd because sometimes i just can't stand when things are out of place and i always make sure things are very tidy and put together in a way that consumes me you know for the for the most part so i might have that not diagnosed but um as far as the borderline i think i might have some psychosis in me or something a little bit of neurotic behavior but you know it doesn't you know get anyone hurt and hasn't gotten me hurt yet so i guess it can't be too bad even if it was true but uh this guy man i just love how he <clears throat> breaks things down i love i love how he talks you know it's just but that ending, though, if some, if a, first of all, I've never been to a therapist in my adult life, in my juvenile under 18 life. Yes, I had uh, quite a few therapists, actually, because people just couldn't get me, man. People couldn't stand me and there had to be something wrong with me. So instead of just taking care of me, you know, they pawned me off on therapists, uh, which was a pain in my ass. And But, you know. You know, my best way to get even is just to uh, make the therapist hate me. And boy, did they hate me. They passed me from therapist to therapist to therapist. I'm like, y'all don't know how to do your job if you can't get through to me. <laughs> because I'm a pretty simple dude. But yeah, that was just me. But a uh, very funny clip, man. Uh, you know, I, I like how he, he doesn't seem too afraid to have silence going on in between his jokes, you know what I mean? Like a lot of comedians seem to go from joke to joke and the laughs keep coming. But I think he... He has like a little bit of a buildup, you know what I mean, to his uh, to his punchlines, which lead to the big laughs. And I'm, I'm a big fan of that, too. I'm a fan of different types of comedy. But um, I like how he said that you got to let some people roam free. You can't just be locking people up because sometimes I think uh, you got to keep people around, you know, just outside of lockup just for like entertainment value. Not even really to make fun of them, you know what I mean? But sometimes a good laugh is a good laugh. I mean, there's no denying that. But um <clears throat> If I was ever in the company of certified crazy people, I'd actually want to hang out with them a little bit more because I'm just, you know, a crazy person myself in that way. But I just want to get to know different people. I want to see what makes people tick. And I just want to know that I'm not just giving up on people just because something's going on that I'm not comfortable with, you know. I have my issues with things that I'm uncomfortable with, but I try for the most part to deal and, and learn and accept and all that but you know sometimes some things are a little bit harder than others but yeah very funny clip from tommy tiernan man i love checking this dude out um keep the suggestions coming you know um, i'm gonna be checking things out you know but uh hopefully i can um you know just make sure i get some requests in so that way i'm not just you know veering off into space and you know trying to you know just not get into anything funny you know what i mean because sometimes you know i might pick something just because i might think it looks good or whatever but it turns out to be a bust it's happened a few times after after geez, so many videos i've made but yeah very funny clip from tommy and i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off right there one more time uh tommy tiernan with how ireland dealt with lunatics and if you like that reaction, please put them on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or a request, and uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Nice little jokes, jabs, friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? No drama, I don't want it. Makes me shaky, okay? Makes me violent after the fact, and I don't want to be a violent person now, okay? Well, 
talking to nobody in the room. I can't get violent unless I stop punching myself. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. All right, this is going to be Eddie BTB um, uh, signing off one more again here. A uh, very funny clip uh, from Tommy Tiernan, man. You know, I've, I've been, you know, getting into this guy a lot more with the clips that I've seen here and there. And uh, there will be more for sure in the future. But I was glad to get to this one. And uh, just the way that he breaks things down, just the way that he speaks and the little subject matter, it just makes me really uh, that much more of a fan of him, you know. So that's pretty much what it is there. So, yeah, thank you all for tuning in one more time to this one. Um, I had a lot of fun getting to it. Uh, Tommy Tiernan is a funny dude. And uh, I'm sure he's got even more crazier clips out there for me to get to. And, uh, yes, we will cross those bridges when we get there eventually. So until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.